Anthony Vineyards is a large uh, grower of table grapes, not only in the desert, but in the Bakersfield area as well. They have roughly 25 to 3,000 acres here and in the San Joaquin Valley. They're also involved in a very large way in dates and in, uh, you know, used to be all in peppers, but they, they do have some pepper business and, uh, and, and some lemons. So they're, but they're, their biggest focus is primarily grapes, table okay. grapes. Well, when I first came back down from Bakersfield, um, I've been farming grapes for 45 years now, the, um, um, the attitude was when the buds came out in January, you turn the water on and no rhyme or reason as to when except weather-wise. Many times when the buds came out and it got warm, they would run virtually 12 to 14 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Now, under those same conditions in January, we're watering three to four hours a day. So two things happen. And the most important thing is the second one. But the first one is, obviously, we're saving water. Um, but the second one is, is that I'm confident, looking at the instruments, about where the water's at in our root zones. I know where it is at 24, at 16, I mean 18, 24, and 30, 36 inches. We can see above ground what's going on. We can't, we can only guess what's going on below ground without instruments. Mm -hmm. um, but the more important thing is that we're growing a healthy vine now. And... A healthy vine makes for happy grapes when it turns 115 down here. The real, I mean, the savings we've got from, I would say, anywhere from 15 to 30 percent we save on water, which saves on the, on the booster pumps, which saves on the wells, which saves on water costs, period. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is that the vine is healthier. And with, with, with a more a healthier vine and more production, obviously, Bottom line is going to look bigger. Yes. Yes. Well, I when I first got down here three years ago or two two years ago, there was during harvest there was virtually puddles of water underneath the vine. In other words, the vine wasn't taking the water. The soil was not taking the water, and that alone is wasteful and injurious to the vine. You're literally drowning the roots. So they had trouble making sugar and production and all. And and once we got this got this got these adjusted properly, um, the vines have been so much healthier. One of the keys to the, to the instruments is I'm able now to put water from the, the surface to 36 inches in an even manner. And, and I, the, the, the instruments tell me what, what I need to do that. Okay? If it's strictly on 18 inches, we run a, uh, a, a quick sh a shot. If it's going to go all the way to 36, we run a longer shot. But I, I can do that virtually on every station I've got out here. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 you can look at my instruments today in my, in my, I, on my iPad and it shows every single station is within a point of each other from 18 inches to 36 inches. Wow. That's improving the soil. That's improving the, 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 the sustainability of the vines. Mm -hmm. And I think down the line we're going to be even happier. Nice. I, I look at it every day, uh, check the water every day, whether I'm on vac vacation, but for those of you that don't know anything about the iPad, it, uh, you can be in Paris, France, and know what's going on in Mecca, California, uh, where we're getting, uh, filming this today, and, and uh, what, a, what a pleasure. And it's so habit-forming, I look at the weather first, and then I go to the instruments. Mm -hmm. And I might look at the instruments two or three times a day. And then each Monday, I give out a new schedule every single Monday for the irrigators. Looking at um, verbally what these guys were putting on, that the foreman were telling me putting on number of hours, in years past, we're we're growing three and four hours right now versus twelve. So you can imagine, and the vines are that much stronger, and we've had a warm spring, which would require more water. Mm -hmm. But the instruments are clearly indicating it doesn't need more water. So uh, that's the most important thing. What we've done is kept the levels of water soil tension at a level that, if it gets extremely hot, we can anticipate. For instance, it's it's sixty two today, sixty two degrees right now. Next Tuesday, it's going to be ninety two. I will start Thursday or Friday upping the water, and I, but I will be watching the instruments, and I'm not going to overwater, okay? I'm just going to prepare myself to get up to that 92 degree day, okay, with the vines. As long as you, if you've got water tension, you know, from, from, from top to bottom at, at, a, at a basically the same rate, then you're not going to run out of water. You know, you're just not, okay? But by the end of next week, at the end of this week, or the first part of next week, we will probably be up doubling our, our hours per day. But... It's been since next Monday, which is what three, four months into the oh, three and a half months in the growing season, mm -hmm. that we're, we've increased our, uh, our rates at all. But this particular company has so many acres on the Mecca and Oasis slope that are virtually 
have very little body of soil to them. So they've always felt with, with the, that it was like an IV here. They had to virtually pump the water into the vine on a daily basis with the roots. They're finding out now that in the past that might have been the case, but now we've got these vines that so healthy that they don't have to do that, that they run less. So it, 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 it's, it's dynamite down here as far as running out of water because you can jump from 100 degrees to 115 degrees overnight. Mm -hmm. But these, as long as we keep the soil tension and all these uh, blocks that we're monitoring, we're never going to have that problem. I don't know how many times, you know, I've woke, wake in the night and said, geez, I wonder if we're putting enough water on. Mm -hmm. Whether it had been the old days with furrow or, you know, most more recently with drip. Uh, and you look at your vine, you say, well, they kind of look okay, I, but man, we're getting coming up on some heat. I better give some more water. This tells you exactly where you're at. Yeah. So it's, it's a tool I wish I had many years ago. Totally. <laughs>